Um, we really wanted to bring the interns into the lifestyle of, you know, or the life cycle of construction and show them how everything, you know, overlapped from estimating to pre-planning to project management team to safety and then getting them involved in prefab and showing them how cool it is that we have a huge warehouse that prefabricates things that goes out to the field and really get to show them that they're going to be involved in live work, right? Real live projects that Royal is doing and currently working on and how their work is going to make an impact on projects that we're working on now and projects to come too. Um, it's been really cool. It's been nice to see every different department that Royal has and get the kind of in-depth uh, look at what they do and how each uh, individual section, they all correlate and it all comes together to work as a team. So we built the program for the interns based on, you know, kind of in-class activities and then hands-on activities. So we started Monday with typical welcome intro and the onboarding process with safety videos and completing paperwork and then kicked off Tuesday with, you know, presentations um, and then rolled into Wednesday where they got to be out in prefab and working with Todd and got to have their hands on different things that they're actually going to you know, bring out into the field from runway light to different boxes um, and then they got to do more presentations in the afternoon and then got to wrap up their day with 3D printing and CNC which is really cool because I know that's newer to Royal and to get them involved with that as well just to show them how versatile we really are and then stepping into today with job site walks and getting to show them you know in addition to airfield lighting we do work in schools and commercial settings and multifamily residential just to kind of round out their week too. Today was really good throughout the week we've been learning more inside a classroom so to say and now it's more seeing it in real life and what's applicable based off of what we've been learning so estimating and project planning is very like vivid when you see it out on the construction site. This is one of their special projects, as I've been told, but it's still, I think, pretty big. Um, I don't think that a lot of companies take on really niche projects like this, typically, so it was cool to look at. Um, I'm still learning about the construction industry as a whole, but I found it very interesting. So for a job walk, we went to Earl Crab Gym Renovation, which is a special project for us in Auburn, California and the interns were given a job walk tour by Nathan Trujillo, who's currently a project engineer here with us, and they were afforded the opportunity to ask him questions about um, our scope on the project, and he was able to give us a lot of the interesting historical facts and what it actually takes to do um, you know, a renovation project of that size for a gym that's you know, almost 100 years old. So they were also provided the opportunity to um, meet some of our workforce that were on there, a couple of our apprentices and our electricians, and then they were also informed of um, what of some of the project issues that we might run across if we don't know what's behind a wall and once it's exposed, dealing with some of the outdated materials that you don't know what's actually behind there and kind of what goes into help reissuing, um, but what else goes into a project once you already have your scope identified and there might be extra work that comes along. Every time I've been able to get out on a job site and ask questions and get to see the things that I'm working on in the office, it's been um, very helpful and, and helps me to see what exactly we're doing. So working with Nathan has been really great. He's very open and he always takes the time to explain everything down to the lowest level so that I really understand what it is that we're doing. He was really knowledgeable and he started out in the field, so I think that he has an appreciation for planning because he knows that the alternative to planning is that you fall behind. So he was able to let us know what he did beforehand to prepare and then what it looks like actually being out here and doing the work and what circumstances lead to not being on time, such as the supply chain right now, it's a little off. So things vary, but he was really knowledgeable again about what was going on, who was doing what, and what the timeline is looking like. So he took us through the different areas of this project that they had and was telling us essentially what it would look like at the end, how it started, and where they were in the process. I love learning, but at some point, like I really just want to put it to practice. So that was really cool. And at the end of yesterday as well, we went out into the other shop, the I think just past the workshop. So that was the where the CNC machine was. They had a 3D machine, and then I want to say some others, but we were there because they were doing milling on some nameplates for us. So we got to see what it looked like to put it in and then actually see it be done. And, why they use coolant and how long it takes and all that. So that was really cool. And then we get to keep something ourselves. So I'm excited to get that eventually.
I think, um, you know, when it comes to business and especially um, developing what they keep referring to as the next generation of the construction workforce, it's important to start developing um, some of those intangible skills such as communication, leadership, um, stuff like that in your workforce as well as the tangibles, which are your specific things to build a project. So as we brought on the um, interns and it's give them an opportunity, whether they've had an internship here or not, it gives them, say we have a project engineer that's been an intern here before, it gives them a unique opportunity to pass on maybe kind of like their best nuggets of information as to what made their internship, specifically with Boyle, um, a good one. And then it also provides them as we hope to progress our own workforce to, as we, to support our own growth, they're gonna have some of those smaller leadership um, skills that were developed as they led and mentored some of the interns that are already assigned to them as they grow themselves into project managers, potentially regional managers and stuff like that. So my other teammate, Lauren Borges, workforce coordinator, partnered with me very heavily on building the structure around this program this year, um, and as well as making sure that the interns had everything they needed as far as when it came to onboarding, that they were ready to go, um, travel coordination for folks that came up from down south, making sure that they were comfortable with every step of the way when it came to um, hiring. So we had everybody on my team involved, and there was also a lot of involvement, you know, from some of our other people that came when it came to putting together the presentations and speaking engagements and stuff like that that were afforded during the week. So, um, you know, one of our linking values here at Royal Electric is collaboration and this initiative really truly shows that collaboration is truly one of um, our leading driving forces here at Royal Electric because of all of the people that were involved.